So why do we actually need food? Well, it's to supply us with fuel for energy, it's to provide materials for growth and repair of tissues, and it's to help fight disease and to keep our bodies healthy. But what is in food? Well, food can be split up into seven different nutrients, carbohydrates, lipids and proteins, vitamins and minerals, and fiber and water. So, carbohydrates. Carbohydrates can be in the form of simple sugars, such as glucose, lactose, fructose or sucrose. Or it could be large polysaccharides, big long chains of sugars like starch or glycogen. Now most of our carbohydrate comes in the form of starch from foods like potato, rice and uh, bread. And what do we use it for? We use it in the body for respiration to release energy. So if you know about the respiration equation, you'll know it's glucose plus oxygen uh, goes to carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. So the glucose you need for that reaction comes from our carbohydrates. But if you have too much carbohydrates, too much energy, then your body decides to store that uh, as fat and it can create, uh, give you obesity or it could cause tooth decay. Lipids, now lipids is the proper name for fats and oils. Food high in animal fats includes meat, butter, cheese, milk, eggs, and oily fish. And foods high in plant oils include olive oil, sunflower oil, rape oil, and margarine. On the whole, lipids from animals, which are, tend to be saturated fats, are worse for you than the unsaturated fats you get from plant oils. Now, what do we use fat for? Fat has quite a bad name, but actually we need fat in our diet. We just don't need too much of it. It's very important for making cell membranes, for insulation, for protection of organs, and as a store of energy. Proteins. Now, animal foods high in protein include meat, fish, cheese, and eggs. You can get protein from plants, things like beans, peas, and nuts, but meat is a, a primary source of protein. It's a better source of protein. And what do we need it for? We need it for growth and repair of tissues, replacing cells, very important when you're growing either as a baby or an adolescent, but also even when you stop growing, you need to replace cells constantly every day. And we need proteins in order to do that. Vitamins. So there's a couple of vitamins you need to know about. Vitamin A, which is used to maintain the retina in your eye. Uh, and you get that from carrots, fish liver oils, uh, liver, butter, and margarine. Um, so that old wives tale of carrots helping you see in the dark, there's actually a bit of truth to that because they're high in vitamin A, which is used to help build your retina. Vitamin C, which is used to sort of stick cells together, um, lining surfaces to make stuff called, we call connective tissues. And it's found in fruit and vegetables, especially citrus fruits. And if you don't get enough vitamin C, it can cause scurvy, uh, where your sort of fingernails uh, will start to bleed and bleeding gums. Um, very famously, pirates always got scurvy because if you went on long voyages, you could never take any fresh fruit and veg with you, even though you could take animals to slaughter and, and carbohydrates, you couldn't get vitamin C. And lastly, vitamin D, which helps bones absorb calcium. Uh, and you get that from things like fish dipper oils again, um, and also from dairy products. Um, but it's also uh, made in your skin uh, when you're exposed to sunlight. What about minerals? So there's two major minerals really that you need to know about, but a lot of these minerals are the same elements you would find on a periodic table. We're gonna look at calcium, which is used for making teeth and bones, very uh, high in dairy products and fish and bread and some vegetables. And if you don't get enough calcium, then your bones won't develop properly and you can have a, a disease called rickets. And iron, which is used to make hemoglobin in your red blood cells so that they can carry oxygen, so very important. And you get that from things like red meat, liver, eggs, and some vegetables like spinach. If you don't get enough iron, you can end up with a disease called anemia. A lot of people don't think water is a nutrient, but it, it is, and it's included in these seven nutrients, and it's very, very important. Well, we need it, obviously, to stay hydrated. What that means, really, is to make sure that osmosis works properly uh, between our cells and our blood and our tissue fluid. We don't want our cells to shrivel up, we don't get enough water, but equally, we don't want our blood pressure to get too high if, if we have too much. So it's very important that water levels are maintained. Um, also, because it's our blood plasma, a lot of reactions take place there and we use it to transport stuff around our body. So uh, it's very, very important. You need to drink about between 1.5 and two liters of water a day. Uh, the last nutrient you need to know about is fibre. Now, dietary fibre uh, isn't actually something that you digest and absorb, 
but it's very, very important for maintaining what we call digestive transit. Your food needs to pass through the digestive system from your mouth to your anus. And along that, to help it sort of along that journey, we need the fiber. Now you get it from mostly cellulose that's found in plant cell walls that we eat. So fruit and vegetables are very good uh, sources of fiber. And like I said, it gives your gut something to push against so that it moves your, the food through the digestive system. Now if you have too much though, then it will move too far through the digestive system and you can end up with diarrhea. And if you have uh, too little, um, then you can end up getting constipated because it won't move fast enough through. Now, you don't need all these seven nutrients in equal amounts, that wouldn't be a healthy diet. A balanced diet has all the seven nutrients in the correct amounts. So this pyramid here is a bit of a representation of that. You have carbohydrates at the bottom there, and then sort of fruit and vegetables, next one, protein, dairy, and some fats at the top. Realistically now, we're thinking actually you need a lot more fruit and vegetables even that's shown by this pyramid. Um, a lot of people end up having too much uh, dairy, fats, and protein, and not enough of the fruit and vegetables underneath to maintain a healthy, balanced diet. But not everybody's diet is the same. Different people who have different uh, jobs or different ages will potentially need different diets because they have different energy requirements. The larger the average body mass, the more energy is actually required. A two-year-old child only needs about 5,000 kilojoules a day, whereas a 15-year-old boy needs about 12,000 kilojoules a day. So people have different requirements. If you're an athlete, you're gonna need to eat uh, more food, to more calories to get more energy. Um, if you're pregnant, you're going to need to eat more as well, not only because uh, you're trying to feed a growing baby, but because you are physically heavier and it takes more energy to move around on a daily basis. So you're going to use up more energy. A manual worker is going to need more energy per day than an office worker. So it's important to eat the diet that is right for your lifestyle.